Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to more Battlefield 1. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about tanks. One of the major things that I heard during the Battlefield 1 open beta is Oh my god, please die, nerf, tank is OP. Take it down, burn it with fire, kill it with fire, all that sort of shit. Well, one of the reasons why tanks are OP is because you're not dealing with them properly. Here's a few ways to deal with tanks on your own. You don't really need anybody else if you do have the luxury of having a team that you speak to or you have somebody on team speak or you have somebody on skype that's even better is going to be even less time for you to take down a tanker now i've never ever had a situation and i played 24 hours or whatever of the beta never once have i had a situation where somebody was going 20 30 40 50 60 0 uh, with me on that team simple as that why because i knew to go for him and take him out one of the big problems you have once you see somebody dominating, it's pretty easy for you to press tab and look at the scores and you'll see that that guy's dominating. Now that guy is taking you out over and over again, so you need to deal with him early on because the more you leave it, the more confident he's going to get and the more he's going to wait for another tank. If you kill him while he has sort of 5 kills, 10 kills or whatever, he's probably not going to wait another 3-4 minutes for a tank to respawn and he's just going to go and spawn on the field and that's it. Then somebody else will get the tank probably the same thing again he might not be a good tanker he might not have good aim whatever he'll make some mistakes so maybe he'll be easier to deal with rather than having that one guy who's good in a tank know what he's doing know knows when to sort of retreat when to back away from a fight things like that do happen on the field and you need to pay attention to those sort of things now once you've done that and you identify the potential threat to your team even though tickets don't really count anymore so Having somebody in the tank going on a massive kill spree doesn't really affect the fight anymore as long as he's not capping flags and he's in the middle of nowhere. It shouldn't really affect you too much. But you still don't want to be dying from the same guy over and over again just because he's in the tank and you think it's OP and he can shoot you a mile away. There are ways for you to deal with tanks. All you have to do is want it badly enough and it will happen. That's the same thing that happens with armored vehicles. You have the artillery trucks, you have the sort of the AA gun or whatever it's called you have all those vehicles that basically are sort of mobile tanks they can actually repair as they're moving so if you are moving one of those if you haven't tried that before yes you can actually move without go forward and repair at the same time all you have to do is just pay attention to the map pay attention to what you're doing spot as much as you can and pay attention to your mini map from time to time where spotting is done lay down your mines the reason you have the mines is for you to put them down the c4 is kind of shit nowadays uh, it's not actually a c4 it's the dynamite well the dynamite doesn't stick for some reason they've decided that that technology is just too important to have in battlefield one which makes no sense since 99.9 .9 percent of these weapons saw very very little combat in the actual war and 99.9 .9 percent of the troops never actually saw these types of weapons used in world war one the sticky technology must be one of those things where you think now nah, we're not going to have any sticky that, that's going to be a game breaker so yeah no sticky technology remember those mines i put down there you go they're doing the job for you all you have to do is know where the narrow spots are know where your corners are know where everything is if you have to go in close you spawn in next to a tank or whatever put the mines behind him in front of him try and sort of jump in front of him jump behind him make him make a mistake once he's made that mistake he's not going to pay attention he's just going to think ah okay well i'll just kill this guy nab i'll just go ahead and move forward of course yep you just got me first time around and then 10 seconds later bam that's it no longer a tank for you it's just that simple you have the snipers you have the k bullets you have the advantage of being at range with a cage with a k bullet do as much damage as you can to a tank you might not be alone i mean i'm always playing alone so i always have to do everything sort of my way because i'm thinking nobody's going to help and nobody's going to pay attention to what i'm doing everybody's fighting their own fight but at the same time if you do have somebody like me on your team and you're doing the same thing as me then we're both going to do pretty much enough damage to take out a tank if you have a benefit of having a team or having somebody in team speak or skype or whatever like i said before then that's just going to be a hell of a lot easier the way to deal with tanks you need to keep them a distance you need to use your minds like i said the dynamite is pretty shit the reason behind it is just simple the sticky technology made things so much easier with tanks now you literally have to go next to him throw it move away a little bit blow it up throw another and so on and so forth it's just going to take too long and all he takes for him is just to turn around pop you in the face once and that's it you are done 
So if you're struggling to take down tanks in the Battlefield 1 open beta and you're thinking, well, the full game's gonna get released, tanks are gonna get a nerf, still you're gonna have the same problem. Even though tanks are gonna get nerfed, they're still gonna be powerful assets on the field and you need to tackle him straight away. Don't let him roam around playing his own game the way he wants to play it. Challenge him and you will be able to take him out. Hopefully you enjoy the video. I will see you in the next one.